What's up y'all? We are out here at Waco Surf. Once again, it's kind of a butter factory today. It looks absolutely epic out there, but they did just get sort of a brand new setup. They sort of revamped everything, moved everything around, made a little bit of hacks and stuff, and the park is looking super awesome. So if you guys haven't been out here yet, you should definitely come out, check it out. Basically today, I'm just gonna hop on the water, throw the GoPro on my head, a little bit of a POV mount, and uh, cruise some laps, and. Uh, check out the new setup i've never ridden it yet and i'm super excited so we'll kind of cruise around show you guys the whole new thing and then we'll start doing some tricks damn air bud what's up dude that's a nice board huh who is that is that you yeah it's a boy <laughs> yeah. uh thank you sir yeah, on this one okay Oh my goodness gracious, dear Lord Almighty, Jesus, amen. I'm pretty excited about today, not gonna lie. Look at the turtle, I got the turtle. Before we even get started talking about the new setup, let's talk about my favorite feature of the entire park. It's this giant island in the center of the lake. If your home park doesn't have an island like this or wave breakers, I feel very, very sorry for you. But the reason I feel that it's so great is because my waves can't cross it and go over there and the people's waves over there can't cross it and come over here. So the lake remains smooth all the time and uh, I mean, I absolutely love that. So uh, thank you Waco Surf for digging a giant donut in the earth to uh, make this place so awesome. Okay, now it's time to talk about the new setup. The first major change they made is they took the transfer box from over here, placed it in the front section. They actually put it in backwards so you can transfer outside in now. And they also placed a bump there on the right so you can transfer that way as well. So let's go outside in front lip transfer. The next thing they actually did was they took this flat up flat rail over here and they turned it into a CNB so there's actually a kicker on both sides of it for nice transfers. So we'll just do a pop up to the second flat back lip. Same, same to back lip, but back 90 out. We can go transfer backboard pretzel two. Same, same, but 270 the other way out. And we can ollie up to the second flat. Why don't we try outside in box the rail? And we can try the new popper up to the top of the A-frame. They actually just swapped out this wave kicker over here, which used to be in the front. Now it's in the back and they put a unit L kicker in the front, which is a much more mellow transition than the home built kicker. So let's do like a ollie to blind before the kicker unwind to toe back five out. And the baby barefoot kicker as well for beginners. Maybe get your first kicker hit on this thing. And the last thing that Waco Surf Resort kind of added to the remodel is this rail rail right here, pipe to flat bar. Let's go pipe front board to the flat bar. Let's uh, do a line down the new front straight and we can even add a third trick right here in the air trick straight away. We'll just do a loaded ollie. Swing around the corner right here and we'll eye up that bump to flat back board switch 50 down same way 180 out and we'll go pipe rail to rail to the flat bar and we'll do a front lip big uh popper back one over it Maybe a tangent of line over this. I, 
think that's kind of all the new stuff. So I'm just gonna sort of do a Superman and edge the shore, right? Okay, that's pretty much gonna be it for today. Showing you guys the new setup out here at Waco Surf. I didn't show you guys all of the rails because some of them are still the same. I really just only showed you guys the things that were changed and are different. Also, they do have this like giant, I don't know, measuring post over there that actually shows how high you go off the kicker. I've never really noticed that before until today. So if you're into like mega sending, like JP Rayleigh or something like that, you can blast off the kicker and uh, kind of see how high you actually went. So that's kind of cool. Overall though, I am mega hyped on the new setup. It is definitely super sick and it is definitely really cool of Waco Surf to take the time to give the park a whole new layout. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm an extremely picky wakeboarder, especially with how obstacles are anchored or angled. And during my first few laps here on the new setup, the kicker and the bump weren't angled exactly to my liking. And I know I said before, I am very picky, but I did speak with Brody on the dock and Waco Surf actually has him hired out right now to make this park the best he possibly can. And I thought it was super dope of Brody because he actually instantly dove into the water and swam out to the kicker and re-anchored it to the exact angle of my personal liking. This is insanely cool because there's not many wake parks in America at the moment that would actually take the time to do something like that. And also there's not many wake parks in America or at least in Texas at the moment that actually take the time to change up their setup and make sure that it's absolutely awesome. And it really shows right now that Waco Surf really cares about the riders. Anyways, the vibes out here at Waco Surf are at an all time high. And if you haven't checked out the new setup yet, you definitely should because it's for sure insanely sick also if you don't follow waco surf on any of their social platforms yet make sure you guys do that i'll leave the link to all of that in the description below and uh yeah if you guys like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future and remember i'll be putting a wakeboarding video every second day forever so make sure you guys subscribe i'll see y'all next time peace